What's up guys and welcome back to the History of Comic Book series. Today we will be looking at building a universe from 2008 to 2012. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as I have previously discussed, comic book films really did come back during the early 2000s. However, by the late 2000s, it was pretty clear that comic book films were starting to struggle. A lot of the original trilogies which had started off the comic boom, such as the Spider-Man films and the X-Men films, they were starting to lose creativity and didn't seem to have any direction. However, this would all change with the release of Iron Man. Now at first Iron Man just seems like a really good um, comic book film which isn't attached to anything it's just it's just Iron Man it's just about characters in Iron Man. However despite the film being excellent it is the post credit scene which everyone talks about because that one single post credit scene showed that something different was coming that comic book films were no longer just going to be singles on their own, set in like their own specific universe. It was going to become a cinematic universe in which there will be tons of Marvel characters all crossing over in each other's films. Now this had never been done before, so a lot of people were very excited when Iron Man came out and they were waiting to see what would happen next. And after numerous uh, films such as Captain America the First Avenger, 4 and The Incredible Hulk, in 2012 re they released Avengers Assemble, which was the very first comic book film in which there was characters from different films who all came together in one big film. Now, something like this had never really been done before. There had been attempts to do something like this. However, it had never been successfully pulled off. And I have to say, with Avengers, that was when a universe was built. Now look, phase one of the MCU from 2008 to 2012 is honestly, it's building blocks. It's taking baby steps. Now, I'd say a lot of the phase one films are kind of their own films. You know, there's no massive like connections to which we are used to now. However, they are all there and Avengers really did uh, bring all those films together. For instance, it uses the Tesseract from Captain America the First Avenger. It uses Loki as a villain from Thor. You know, there's all of these connections that come together and honestly, Avengers is a brilliant film because it was the first of its kind. We had never seen a team-up film like this and Avengers really did change the landscape because following Avengers released DC and X-Men as well as various other franchises which aren't even connected to Marvel films such as Universal's Dark Universe started to use the idea of a cinematic universe in order to make not only really good films, however, tons of spin-offs that would just go on and on and continue a story. So really, we should have a lot of thanks for the Avengers film because the Marvel Cinematic Universe s created a template in which loads of other studios and franchises would start using. Some of them didn't use them very well, such as DC. However, they all use this template. So in conclusion, building a universe is probably one of the most pivotal times in the history of comic book films because it produced a template which so many studios would use for comic book films in the future. It showed that comic book films could very much be like comic books in the fact that you could have independent comic book films which were just about one hero and then you could have like a multi team up film in which there was various heroes who could join in and then they that you could introduce more heroes in that film which could then go off and have their own films to be honest it the M the marvel cinematic universe is a brilliant business idea because you will never be short of films the only thing about marvel cinematic universe is one day yes um people will tire of it 
and all ideas will be um, just kind of repeating themselves. However, in phase one, during this period, no one had ever seen anything like this before. And with Avengers released in 2012, people were really happy with the results. So thanks for watching guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this instalment of the history of comic book films. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe in order to receive great and maybe even improved quality content in the future and I will see you in another one. See ya!